emergency medicine residents, and I'm going to be discussing the blue protocol lung ultrasound. It's one of the protocols that can be used in evaluating patients with respiratory distress. The patient population that we're most concerned about are patients that are in the emergency department or in the ICU settings that have respiratory distress and are either recently been put on CPAP or BiPAP. Uh, the probe that we use for this exam ideally is a cardiac probe, but a transabdominal probe can be used as well. To initiate the exam, the first thing that we're going to look for is lung sliding. And you can look at the blue points of the patient by placing the uh, ultrasound probe as indicated here. If lung sliding is present bilaterally, then what has been effectively ruled out is a new a new thorax. establish a profile on the patient, whether that be an A profile or a B profile, uh, which is defined by the presence of A lines versus B lines, which is discussed in a late, another part of the ultrasound page. So if A lines are present bilaterally, <laughs> you need to proceed to move to do a DBT study, which has also been described in another part of the page. And then DBT study is positive, your diagnosis is essentially a pulmonary embolism and you may stop the exam at that point. If the DBT study is negative, then you need to be, move to the posterior exam to evaluate the posterior uh, blue points of the patient. You can put the patient in left lateral decubitus position as kind of portrayed here with our mannequin and looking at the posterior lung fields. You want to be sure not to be looking on lateral aspects of the patient, but actually truly the posterior lung fields. Another pitfall that is uh, commonly kind of observed while doing this exam with the cardiac probe is, is depth. When you're looking in the uh, anterior fields, you may need to adjust the depth accordingly to look for lung sliding and then also be looking for the deeper structures. So you can adjust the depth by using the toggles on the ultrasound machine. Um, if the other one, the other pro, the other profile that we're evaluating for is B profile. B profile are assessed by looking at the same blue points as before. If you have bilateral B profile uh, present, then your diagnosis is bilateral pulmonary edema, and then you can stop the exam. If you have a mixed profile where you would have A A profile on one side and B on the other. On the side of the B profile, you would be concerned for a pneumonia or pulmonary contusion uh, as part of your assessment. 